Okay, so what are we talking about here? Well, this is something called a permutation, and this is uh, something called a combination, and you're gonna study uh, this topic if you're, let's say, at the Algebra two level, pre-calculus level, college algebra level. There's a lot of different maths at that particular level that you could uh, run into permutations and combinations, but you certainly will uh, run into them. Okay, you need to understand this. Now, let me just say right up front, I'm gonna compute these permutations and combinations by hand, but in your calculator, uh, you can also do these calculations and you should be familiar with how to do that as well. But uh, if you never heard of permutations and combinations, stick around, you'll definitely be able to learn this. This is gonna be a basic review of this and we're gonna actually do one prompt for permutations and one prompt for combinations to kind of explain what they are and how to calculate them. So I'm gonna get into this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Basically I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus. I also do a ton of test prep courses. So if you're studying for like the GED, SAT, ACT, Accuplacer, teacher certification exam, any kind of an exam where there is going to be math on, I likely have it. I also have a great homeschool learning program. So you can check out my entire uh, math help program by following the link in the description of this video. Also, I wanna um, state that if you are a math student, and I assume you are if you're watching this video, you have to realize the importance of taking great math notes. Not good math notes, I'm talking about excellent, uh, fantastic math notes. So if you're not uh, doing that, take a look at your notes, and, you know, be honest about your, your uh, you know, how well they are. Most people can stand improvement in their note taking. So. Uh, if you do that, I can tell you right now, learning math will be a lot easier. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from as you improve your notes. Again, you can find the links to all this stuff in the description of this video. All right, okay, now, uh, first things first, if you think you know what to do here, and you can calculate this, um, and if you wanna use your calculator, that's fine too. You would need a calculator like a TI-83, TI-84, something like that. Um, now, every calculator is a little bit different, but you can, you'll can you need to know how to use these uh, graphing scientific calculators to be able to compute these things if you're at this level, like, again, you know, Algebra 2, uh, pre-calculus, okay, learning or understanding your calculator is kind of part of uh, learning uh, math at that level as well. So, again, you know, I'm going to show you how to do this by hand by using the formulas for this, but you need to understand how to use your calculator. All right, now, as we... Um, use these formulas, we're going to run into a notation called factorial. Now, I'm doing this for the um, benefit of those of you that may you never heard of a permutation and combination and, and you want to learn this. So in order to understand how the formulas for both the permutation and combination, we need to understand factorial, okay? Because this is part of the formula. So here I have four factorials. So if you've never seen this before, what this means, any number factorial, so here I have four factorial, it could be five, 10, doesn't make a difference. What this means is that we're gonna multiply, okay, we're gonna take this four, and we're gonna just start counting down, okay, starting from four, and then we're gonna go down by one. So this is three, two, and one, and we're gonna multiply these numbers. So it's gonna be four times three, times two, times one. And then of course we can compute this, this is four times three is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, or, and 24 times 1 is 24. So 4 factorial is 24. So a quick review on what factorial is. There's a, you know, a little bit more about factorial that uh, uh, you need to understand. So hopefully you already are aware um, how to work with factorials. If you aren't, you might want to check out some of my other videos and my Algebra 2 pre-calculus uh, playlist on my YouTube channel, or maybe just sign up for my pre-calculus course or Algebra 2 course, and uh, you'll learn everything you need to know. All right, so uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at permutations. Okay, so here is the formula for permutations, but it doesn't really even do us any uh, kind of good uh, unless we even understand what we're talking about, right? Well, what a permutation is, is let's imagine you had n objects, okay? And you want to 
take k at a time. All right, so you're given n objects and you want to take k at a time. But when you're doing that, whatever the problem is, order is important. Okay, the amount of objects you take, uh, k objects you take from n objects, the order is important. So really, that doesn't make a lot of sense until you look at a problem like this. All right, so let's consider this little word problem. It says, how many ways can four students uh, from a group of 15 be lined up in a picture? Okay, so we have 15 students, and we want to take four students. How many different ways can they be lined up? So here I have one student, two student, three student, four students. So we have one. We have one there, we have one here, we have one here, and we have one here. So now let me ask you, is order important? Well, of course, right? Because it's how many different ways these students can be lined up in a picture. Maybe we'll go from the tallest to the shortest or vice versa. So this is a situation where order is important. So four, okay, we're going to take four, four out of 15. All right, so this is an example of a permutation. Again, this is a quick review video, and um, uh, you know, of course, there's more to this if this is a little bit confusing, and you know, it's understandable if this is new to you why it would be a tad confusing. But the way we can figure this problem out is one, recognizing that this is a permutation, and we're going to go ahead and use the formula for a permutation. So the situation is this: we want to choose four out of fifteen. Okay. We want to consider how many different combinations or how many different permutations, excuse me, uh, four out of 15 and order is important, okay? So a permutation is a situation where order, okay, is we're trying to count, okay, uh, uh, the, all the different ways this can happen when order is important. And you're going to see here in a second that a combination is a similar type of problem where order is not important. We'll look at an example of that in just one second. So here is our formula. And again, uh, you can see it involves factorial. Okay, so here, this n, all right, this n is n factorial up there. So that will, um, this n, you can see this position is to the left of this p. So that's going to be our n. And then right here, this is going to be our k. And we're just going to go ahead and plug things into this formula and calculate this. Now, if you think you can do this, I would say, go ahead and pause the video and see what you come up with. But let's go ahead and take a look at the calculations now. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna calculate uh, 15P4, okay? And there's different ways you can uh, state this, but I'm just gonna use this simple notation. So the 15, all right, is in the N position. Okay, let's just go back up here and be super clear about it. That's NK. Let me just write this this way. This is PNK. Okay, so right there, our N is 15 and our K is 4. All right, so we're going to put in N factorial. So that's 15 factorial. Okay, and then this is going to be N minus K. So that's 15 minus 4 factorial. So this is what we need to figure out right there. All right, now, 15 factorial is a huge, massive number, right? You don't want to just go ahead and take 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11. You go all the way down, it you know, would be a massive number. So this is the way uh, you can compute um, these uh, calculations with factorial. And of course, you can put this into your calculator, but we can work this way as well. So 15 factorial is the same thing as 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11. Now, we can keep going, 11 times 10 times 9, but all of the remaining uh, products this way is the same thing as 11 factorial, all right? Now, I'm just going to stop right there at 11 factorial because look at our denominator here. It's 15 minus 4, which is, in fact, 11 factorial. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, let's take a look, okay? So, I have 11 factorial down here in the denominator and 11 factorial up here in the numerator. These are all factors. So I can just cross cancel these guys and my life becomes way easier. So now I just need to multiply 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 to get the answer. And when I do that, you get 32,760 ways that those four students out of 15 can be lined up in a picture. Okay, so that is the answer again. Permutations are when order is important. All right, so let's take a look at combinations. 
And again, uh, this is a situation where you're trying to count, uh, you know, when you're given a certain amount of things and you want to choose uh, a portion of those, okay? Uh, this would be when order is not important, all right? Now, kind of loosely uh, defining this, uh, hopefully you're kind of getting an idea, uh, but, you know, you can't really... Uh, put together a quick re video to teach you everything in this, but I am trying to kind of review this or maybe introduce you to this comp concept. So let's go ahead and see how combinations work, and we'll go ahead and read this problem to illustrate how uh, we can use a combination. So how many ways can three letters be chosen from the letters A, B, C, D, and E? Okay, so how many ways can three letters be chosen? Okay, from these letters. Now, if you think about it, if I choose three, maybe I choose A, B, and E. Does it make a difference if I chose an E first, and then an A, then a B? No, because these are the same combinations, right? Order doesn't make a difference. Uh, these are the same three letters. So this is an example um, when, you know, when you read the problem, you're like, no, order doesn't make a difference in the way we select things, okay? If order does make a difference, you're talking about our permutation. But if order does not, if it's not important, then we're talking about a combination. And so here is the formula for a combination. So again, given n objects, okay, uh, and we want to take k at a time where order is not important, this is the formula, okay? So n factorial, n minus k, k factorial. Now, it's similar to the permutation formula, uh, but, you know, obviously it's not exactly the same. All right, so you got to be careful with this. You don't want to, you know, uh, use the combination formula for permutations and vice versa, but let's go ahead and figure this out. We're going to figure out uh, this, uh, 5c3, okay? So we're going to choose three things. Uh, given five things, we're going to choose three at a time where... Um, Order is not important, and we're going to see how many different ways we can do that. All right, so here is the formula right here, okay, N, C, K. So it's going to be N factorial, N minus K times K factorial. So what is our N? N is 5, all right, so N factorial is going to be 5 factorial. What is K? Well, K is 3, so down in the, in the denominator, it's N minus K, or 5 minus 3 factorial times K or three factorial. So you can see this setup here. All right, so here is the problem. Okay, 5C3. So I gotta figure out five factorial times five minus three factorial times three factorial. So you can see five minus three factorial is gonna be two factorial. I have five factorial there and three factorial. So now you can, um, these numbers are pretty easy. You can actually go five times four times three times two times one up uh, here in the numerator. And you can calculate this out, but let's try to make this easier just to reinforce um, what we learned in the previous problem. So 5 factorial, I can write as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Okay, now I stopped there. I'm not going to write out the rest of this because I'm going to try to look for opportunities to cross-cancel. So here I have, I have 2 factorial times 3 factorial. So 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Now I have an opportunity to cross-cancel these like factors. Okay, so 3 factorial and three factorial cross cancel, so I just gotta figure this out. So five times four is 20, two factorial, two times one is two. So our answer is 10, okay? So there's 10 ways we can choose, okay? Three letters out of A, B, C, uh, D, and E, all right? So given these five letters, there's 10 ways we could choose uh, three letters at a time. All right, so, uh, the whole idea with permutations and combinations is to be able to deal with these counting problems. This is very, very important, especially um, in topics like um, probability and statistics. But, you know, you want to first start off with these easier problems and really make sure you understand the concept. And remember, when you're counting and order is important, you're talking about permutations. When the order is not important, you got to really think this uh, through as well. Then you're talking about a combination. All right, so hopefully this little video was a uh, good little, you know, refresher or maybe a, uh, you know, good introduction. Hopefully I did my job. You know, this is not the easiest stuff to uh, learn the first time out, but, uh, you know, I try to make math as clear and understandable as possible. And if this uh, was useful in some way, please consider smashing that like button. 
And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 1,000 plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics on my uh, website. So uh, all that stuff is there for you. So if you like my teaching style, I'm making new content all the time, and I have a ton of content right now. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.